Hello everyone and welcome to Monkey Fish channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than normally. I decided to clean up my hard disk and I found a lot of, of old footages from the time when I was sparring with the foam swords or foam weapons. And I know that I'm probably going to never use those clips anymore and I want to give them second life because right now I spar with the synthetic weapons or from the steel. So it's no point to going back to the foam weapons. So. I'm going to show you some weird, funny or cool moments from my sparrings. Okay, so most of those uh, clips are from 2020 and I put them randomly, it's no system over there, so some of them are really old, some of them can be from the first training, some of them can be you know, a little bit younger or whatever. But most of them are uh, from my sparring with Shinobi Hiryu, you can go and check out this guy. And also with Zen Dragon, you can also take a look for his channel. So. I have to talk about every each of those clips so you can see what I can see or what I know and then you can see what is funny over there because maybe you will not see right away. So let's get started. So in the first clip you can see it was my very first uh, sparring and this is funny because you know Normally when you see Hima guys, they train in the sports hall or in some normal uh, place like it's safe, everything's safe. But when we're sparring, we're sparring in the forest, we're sparring in the different places and you know, normally ground is not even, always we can trip on something. In this moment, in this clip, we was fighting after rain so it was a little bit muddy and I slip and I fall because of that. This is why I think it's kind of funny, but not really because, you know, in real life I would be dead. <laughs> so, yeah, next one. Next one, it was a spear versus a, a sword and shield. And here is more like a cool thing because I make some weird flashy move like in the movies or in the games and I could protect my back uh, from his uh, you know from his cut. Next one. Here because I was using uh, not a normal gloves I was using like this normal winter gloves so it wasn't not the best for holding something because everything could slide out from my hands so in this moment the spear i want to stop him and i want to use like a full extension so i want to just go like all the way and the spear just uh, fly away from my <laughs> hands so i was using this winter gloves way too long because you're going to see in the next clips what's happened <laughs> Yeah, it's the same thing. You can see because I have uh, this funny uh, winter gloves, my sword just slip out from my hand. And this is the things what I like about training with Shinobi that when some of us lose a weapon, another one will not stop. We just beat each other <laughs> because there's like a symbolic kill in the, in the real life. If you lose your weapon, you are dead. So this is what we do. When you lose the weapon, we will not stop. We just get, get few it's just to you know just to make a symbolic kill because you know pain is the best teacher how Bruce Lee said okay next one so when I have seen this one actually I felt it right away but when I have seen this on the camera I have only one picture in my head and I don't know if you played uh, role-playing games but I believe that many of you played role-playing games because you're watching this channel you're watching this video about fighting with swords and I know a lot of people who fight with swords they play fantasy games or role-playing games or LARP or stuff like this and I believe that some of you played it and yeah when I have seen this thing I have only one picture in my head and this would be like a 
my character have a critical role, you know, critical fail because <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> it would look like this in the game. All right, so what do you do? I cannot dodge anymore, so I think I'm going to parry. Okay, throw. Yep. Mm. Can I do it again? Mm. Yeah. Okay, so you... So, I think he was really bad and yeah, this, this is a real life uh, critical role here. Here, it was a really cool place, we was fighting the uh, Viking uh, village and it's also super muddy. You can see how it's sliding, it's almost like ice skating with the swords. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but it was really funny to see. And again, I, I lost my, my, my weapon. And here he decided to kick my shield, but I just poke him with my sword in the ball. <laughs> so sometimes it's a good move to kick the shield, but sometimes this can end up really bad. Here you can see that we fighting each other, we don't want to stop it, but we're still sliding all the time. So here is going to be just a compilation of us sliding on the mat. But you can see that this kind of thing is a huge game changer. That's why I don't really like this schema practitioners who train only in sports hall because, you know, over there you never can slide, so over there it's always perfect. This is why I never say that I train HEMA or some fighting system. I just fight with weapons because we don't do any rules, like we do grappling. We, we throw each other some benches or leaves in the face just to, you know, just to try to keep this real but still kind of safe. And yeah, some people like this kind of things, but a lot of people actually don't like it. Uh, like train like that. They like to see or watch stuff like this, but they don't like to train like that. I don't know why, but yes. So here at, I was playing God of War in this time. So I stole this move from from Kratos, the spinning thing. No, normally it's not good to spin in the in the fight, but sometimes it's working. So if if you if you are sure what you are doing, then you can do flashy thing. I think sometimes you no know, be unpredictable yes go further so here we have a yeah shinobi decide to throw a shield on me and it worked but i also get him but it was a good strategy and here as i said before we do some weird stuff i try to kick the leaves on him to distract him a little bit here uh, yeah we do this quite often that we we start grapple but here Shinobi, he, yeah, he haven't seen that I have still my sword in my hand. So he haven't seen that I was cutting him all the time, but he still keep going. He still try to take me down, but he could not do it. Next one, I just decide to do some, I don't know, movie move. <laughs> Doesn't work well. Throwing the weapons is really cool, actually. It's really cool. And normally in the movies or games, they're showing throwing the weapons from long distance, but actually our training, what we do, uh, when we throw weapons, normally it's from close distance because you have a zero time for a reaction. You just see the move, like he, I want to swing or cut you, and in the moment you just get him hit by, you know, axe or, or knife or whatever. It's quite, you know, you cannot see that, so your reaction is, you no, know, you have to have a ultra instinct or, or you know, spider senses to, to see that. But, yeah, but people are going to say that this is bullshit and stuff, they're going to see that right away, but they will not. Okay, next one. Here, this is what I said, that I like to train in different places because you cannot know what is on the ground and sometimes you can just trip on it or you know have some stone and fall or or something like that and you know in the sports hall you you don't have that and i see that this is really cool that we train like this because it's more like 
realistic, if you can say that. Here Shinobi tried to be, you know, like Achilles from the Troia movie. <laughs> so the next one, you have a Here Shinobi tried to go like really low position. He was thinking that he's safe behind his shield, but I could see that his foot was even out, so he just got his foot. <laughs> it's funny for me, less funny for him, but yeah, you have to do what you have to do. Here again, uh, Shinobi tried to be you no know, movie star and do some flashy move. Yes. Here, I believe that this kind of things happen a lot when you fight with axe versus axe. And here was the final moment because we stuck each other and we not, no one of us wanna you know let it go. But it was really easy to do it because I go and hook it like this, and we are free. None of us wanted to release it because you know. We, we taking this as a real fight, so if I do some mistake, he can use it. So we just try to pull each other, but in one moment, you know, we just drop his, uh, drop his uh, weapon and start to grappling. But in the end, I, I think I, I, I kill him, but I don't remember. So this was really cool move here. I, I just hooked his uh, foot and just, uh, yeah, he just fall. In this, in this clip, I lost my weapon again because of the stupid glove where I was wearing before. And you can see a lot of times in the movies that somebody with only shield can survive or run away from something. But you know, here, it was a perfect example that it's not really realistic because you saw it. I just dropped my uh, my weapon and right away I hide behind the shield and I tried to get my weapon but Shinobi didn't stop. He just was swinging and hit. It was like a symbolic kill because you know normally he would not just try to hit, uh, hit my shield. He would just try to hit me or even when I was down looking for my sword he could push me and then finish me or something like this. It was really really bad. It was really difficult to do anything about this. But you know, movies are movies. Oh, this one was really, really funny, really cool. I stuck his spear and he could not do anything. And then he decided to drop it, and then he uh, started uh, grappling with me. He took my spear away, I don't know how, but he took my spear away, and then he tried to stab me with my spear but i get it right before my my belly so i wasn't dead yet so we decided to do grappling and in the end i killed him but it was really funny as i said before when somebody lose weapon you do not just give the like, you can pick up the weapon just, we do not do this when you lose the weapon you die you have to know that you are dead so yeah shinobi dropped his weapon so i have to kill him yeah. Next one is with uh, Michael. Michael likes to do some flashy moves and here you can see that flashy moves not always work. <laughs> so yeah. Here again I used axe as a hook and I took away his weapon and then when he tried to go to the close distance I just hit him and then he yeah, falls so I, start, I just finished the fight. Here I lost my weapon again but I have a faster reaction so I catch Michael's uh, axes so I could, uh, you know, he, he could not kill me. So then we do some grappling and then we just stop it. Here again, I dropped the weapon and Michael dropped the weapon. So we have to do, you know, some grappling again. And when we was grappling, I have uh, some judo experience. So for me it was a little bit easier. And when we was grappled, I was looking around where the weapons are. So I took Michael and I just put him down close to the axe so I could just pick up and kill it and this is what I did. So yeah, I think I have nothing more to show you for now but if you like this kind of video just let me know down below so I can next time for my next sparrings in the future I can select this funny and weird and cool moments and just keep them for later like for a moment like now so I can make video like this so I can show you and share with you my weird experience with weapon sparrings and yeah for now this is it thank you for watching see you next time